Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power. More terrorists wanted by the FBI and the new Afghan government than there are women. Does the president think that is a foreign policy success? Well, first of all, no one in this administration, not the president, nor anyone on the national security team, would suggest that the Taliban are respected and valued members of the global community. They have not earned that in any way, and we, are not, we have never assessed that. This is a, uh, a caretaker cabinet that does include four former imprisoned Taliban fighters. We have not validated that. We have not conveyed we're going to recognize it. What we are working to do, and nor are we rushing to recognition, there's a lot they have to do before that. What we are working to do is to engage with them because they oversee and control Afghanistan right now to get American citizens, uh, legal permanent residents, uh, as SIV applicants out of Afghanistan. But, we have to engage with but them. To engage with them, their new acting interior minister is a Haqqani Network terrorist. He's wanted for bombing that killed six people, including an American. He's believed to have participated in cross-border attacks against U.S. troops. There's a $10 million bounty on his head. Why are we engaging? Should we not Should we not talk to the people who are overseeing Afghanistan and just leave it and not get the rest of the American citizens out? What are you waiting for them to do? They just formed their government. What, are you waiting for something? Uh, some waiting for specific, what? You're, you're saying that uh, we're not going to rush to recognition. That means that there could be recognition. As we've said many times, the international community is watching. The United States is watching. It's whether they let people uh, depart the country who want to depart, whether they treat women across the country as they have committed to treat and them, and how they that. behave and operate. And therefore, we're not moving toward recognition. At the same time, we're dealing with a reality world here where we have to engage in order to get American citizens and others out of the country. Go ahead. We are, however, increasingly worried by the growing number of incidents of harassment and intimidation against our national staff. We will continue to do everything possible to support our staff and keep them from harm's way. The UN cannot conduct its work, work that is so essential to the Afghan people. If its personnel are subjected to intimidation, fear for their lives and cannot move freely. Thank you. And finally, we have also heard reports that some women, including female UN staff members and female staff of US implementing partners are prohibited from coming into the office are being required to enter into their workplaces with a male chaperone. To call these reported incidents outrageous would be an understatement. And is businesslike and professional. Their interior minister has an FBI wanted poster. He's got a $10 million bounty on his head. That's, what's the business? We are here to celebrate the return of American citizens who wanted to leave Afghanistan, of legal permanent residents, of Afghans who fought by our side to Qatar successfully on a Qatar Airlines flight. Uh, and in order to get those people out, we had to work with some members of the Taliban to press them uh, and to work uh, in a business-like manner to get them out. Okay. That is what we were stating in the statement. And in that statement, it says this is a positive first step towards what? Towards getting additional people out who want to leave Afghanistan. Peaceful protesters across various provinces in Afghanistan over the past four weeks have faced an increasingly violent response by the Taliban, including the use of live ammunition, batons and whips. On Wednesday, the 8th of September, the Taliban issued an instruction prohibiting unauthorized assemblies. Yesterday, Thursday, the Taliban ordered telecommunications companies to switch off internet on mobile phones in specific areas of Kabul. We have seen a reaction from the Taliban, uh, which has unfortunately been severe. Um, we've seen uh, the use of live ammunition, albeit 
there are reports that you know um, the, they're firing into the air in, a, in an apparent attempt to disperse the protesters. Um, protesters have still been killed. Um, there have been reports of severe beatings as well. And we've also received reports of house to house um, search operations um, to try to identify those who attended certain protests.